Hey team, Natanya here. I hope you can hear me. I have to be kind of quiet because my kids are in bed right now. It's 1 a.m. here in Russia, so I have to um, make this quick little video really quickly before I head to bed. But I just wanted to share my experience with you um, from Team Cup uh, last year, February Team Cup 2014. Um, a little backstory really quickly. Um, before Cup, I had built my business like one coach away from Diamond probably two or three times and you know I was so close and then I'd wake up one morning check my back office and I had you know three inactive coaches one coach quit um, things like that and it really um, beat me down a little bit you know it got very discouraging and one day Lindsay messaged me and said hey you're gonna be on my team cut <laughs> and I was like okay you know sure and in all honesty, I was super flattered that out of all coaches, she asked, reached out to me and asked me to be on her, her Team Cup team. But at the same time, I was also um, very scared <laughs> and nervous and afraid of failure and afraid of letting her down because she isn't a two-time elite coach. And at the time, she was two-time elite and gets crazy SC every month and know that she's a total ruby just like go 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 and I was I was scared I was like oh my god what am I getting myself into am I like I wanted to puke I wanted to legit puke I was like can I do this like I started doubting myself and I started thinking I was like this is exactly what I need I need this kick in the pants I need this one-on-one -on -one accountability with this amazing coach to give me tips and help and push me and motivate me and have a no excuses attitude and just get me to my diamond. <laughs> That's all I want is my diamond. And at the time I had um, a newer coach who was a rock star and up and coming. She wanted diamond too, um, it's Jackie. And so I was like a package deal. I was like, I need to be on team with Jackie. I need Jackie, you know, to get diamond. And so, um, in short, I pretty much went from bouncing back and forth between Emerald and Ruby to a star diamond coach in three weeks. Qualifying star diamond coach in three weeks. How crazy is that? Jackie hit diamond in February, I hit diamond, and then boom, I hit my star, um, one star qualifying. Three weeks, people, crazy. So it was a blessing in disguise that Lindsay picked me and I have ever to thank her for it um, but it took work it wasn't like she picked me and she did the work for me and just because I was in a you know a Facebook message chat with her or I was in a um, text message chat with her that, that I just randomly got the success club and I actually dug up my old um, notebook to show you guys back to team cup my my contact list all these people I invited um, I stepped my game up I made my goals big and it was um, non-negotiable diamond. Like I had to get diamond. It was like my life depended on it. I was sick and tired of going back and forth, up and down with my emotions and my team. And I mean, I had not one family member on my team either. I had my first what, three coaches I think came from Twitter. I didn't even know what I was doing on Twitter. So if you have excuses, if you have you know doubts to why you can't do it, message me because I have been through it all. I have been through it all, okay? I, I can relate and if you want advice or tips, just message me because <laughs> learn from my failures. I'm still failing forward, but these are my contacts. Um, this is from February. There's 30 names right here. One day, 30 names. I have seven of them circled, which means seven of them out of the 30 responded to my message. And I have um, three of those seven checked off as um, interest in challenge pack or coaching opportunity. And I can tell you right now, none of these coaches, none of these names on here are coaches or customers right now. So all these 30 names that I did in one day, I got nothing out of it. So I'm going to go back to these names like now and follow up with them. I mean, I haven't even done that yet. Um, and then the next day... There's more names. Next day, there's more names. These are a lot of names. These are like over 30 names. 
And this is every single day. And I would just write these names down, add them to my network. I'd write them down. I wrote down where I found them, like what mom group or um, Facebook group they were on. And you can just see the pattern here. They're just full of names. Um, you have to reach out to people. You have to keep adding to your network. It's, it's vital. If you stop that, you're going to dry up eventually. And I hit a wall towards the end of February in the cup and kind of was like, oh my gosh, where do I find people, you know? And we had a great system, a messaging system. We had this kind of inside joke, hashtag elite problems was our kind of inside joke. I just asked Lindsay, I was like, what do I need to do? What are you doing on the other side of your computer screen every day? What are you doing at your desk? How are you building your business? Just tell me what you're doing and I'm going to copycat you. I'm going to mimic you. I'm going to do whatever you tell me. I'm going to give it a shot. And she's just like, recruit, recruit, add people as you network. The more, the merrier. Go, 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 go. And I took that to heart, and I upped my numbers to inviting, you know, five people a day to ten people a day, and that was really scary. But you kind of have to step out of your comfort zone to get results. So I hit a wall with inviting people and um, adding friends. We didn't really do like pages back then and boosting posts and, you know, trying to attract people to us. So it was all in groups. I had to go into groups, and I kind of had um, a uh, a trick I did. My name kind of is very you know unique, and it stands out more than common, very common names do. So, um, but I didn't take that for granted. I would still go into a group, and I would like somebody's post or comment. Then I would comment on it, so they got a notification for the like. They got a notification from me from the comment. And then I would send them a friend request or I would comment, hey, I just sent you an inbox if you don't, or a, a message, check your inbox. If you don't see it, check your other folder. And that way they got a, they got three notifications from me. And then hopefully through Facebook messaging, after like four or five messages, I click add friend and they're more likely to, um, to add me back. Don't be afraid to be a stalker on Instagram, on Twitter. Go and like people's pictures. Go like their last like four or five pictures. Comment on you know two or three of them, things like that. Don't be afraid to invite them to Facebook. Hey, are you on Facebook? Just a common question. I mean, you miss a hundred percent of the shots that you don't take. So even if you ask, what's the worst that could happen? You're in the same exact spot. But what's the best thing that can happen? You can have your next challenge pack sale. You can have your next rock star coach. You can have just a really cool friend. You know, don't be afraid. You have to be outside your comfort zone. If you're sitting behind your computer or your phone and you're just like lovey-dovey, like, oh, this is so much fun, you're not building your business right. You want to be like barf bag next to you. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I'm about to do this. That's the feeling you want. And that's the feeling I had all of February on Lindsay's team because she pushed me to get outside my comfort zone and get out my invite. And what we would do besides um, check in with each other and take pictures of of my paper and like send it to her in a text message or whatever so she would see my invites for the day and she'd also just check in randomly with like emojis we had full conversations with just emojis <laughs> no words or anything but we totally understood what was going on and she'd check in you know um saying you know how many invites are out today how many how many how many how many and it was kind of like oh my god like leave me alone but it was really good like it pushed me and Jackie would check in and be like I got 15 out I got 20 out I'm gonna get five more later I'm gonna do my workout and get back to work and it was just like the constant being surrounded by people that are constantly striving for what you want as well it just pushed me that speaks right to my Ruby um, personality I love competition and I was just afraid of failure so I just wanted to keep up with them and um, I would say I had big success with that goal, um, having Jackie hit diamond and then having myself hit diamond and one star qualifying all in three weeks. So even if you're a brand new coach and you're kind of freaked out about doing cup, um, don't be. Don't be freaked out. It's going to be really good for your business. And if you're a somewhat newer coach, make sure you're on a team and your downline is on a team because you want your downline to grow because they're going to help you grow and it's going to help them grow and their teams grow. So get everybody in your organization onto a team. It's vital. You really, really want to. And the other tip is if you have Success Club 5 as your goal, sorry, not this month. Every other month of the year, that is great. Bar minimum, SE5, non-negotiable. 
cut month, you gotta up your goals, man. You gotta shoot higher. And the reason why you do is because you'll achieve more. You really will. And you, you'll blow yourself away with what you can do. Because if I can do it, literally, you can do it. Not even gonna lie. It's a mind game. It's all in your mind. So if you're doubting yourself, you need to tell that chatter to just shush and go away. Boost your goal up to SC10 and strive for 10. And what if you don't make 10? Maybe you fall short, but you gave it all you got. That's fine. But you probably still landed above SC5. That was a, your original goal, right? How cool is that? But if you hit, strive for five and you get five, you're going to slack off after you hit that if you even hit it. So go for SC10, go for SC20. You want goals that make you just want to vomit, okay? Go for SC20, say, oh, I'm an emerald right now, or I'm not even, I'm a brand new coach, I'm gonna be diamond in four weeks. Why not you? Why not? There's no rules saying you can't. Go do it, it's all up to you. You can totally do it. My advice, um, another tip for me, um, Insanity Max 30 I'm doing right now. Shanti asked one of the participants um, when she gets tired, you know, um, what keeps her going? What keeps her in the game? And she says, when I feel like quitting, when I feel like maxing out, I don't just give one more, I give three more. That's what I want you to do. When you feel like turning off your phone, when you feel like closing your computer for the night after you got your invites out, do three more. Just do three more. You'll feel so good you'll be that much closer to a yes. The more no's you go after, the more yeses are gonna come. It's all a numbers game. It's just how fast you wanna get there. If you wanna get there fast, you gotta give more numbers, okay? So before you go to bed, send out three invites. Go to your, um, you can be sitting at your kid's ballet practice or karate practice or at, in line at the bank or in line in your car at the gas station or at the grocery store. Anywhere that you're just sitting around waiting, go onto your Facebook, go to your friends, click on your friends, and just scroll through your friends, click free three friends, four friends, and just send them a hello message. Just send them, hey, what's up? Send the referral script. I think it's in the file section of Team Smash, but um, there's a coaching invite referral and there's a challenge group referral. Those are money. They're amazing. That's how I got to Diamond with those referral scripts. They're glorious. Um, you never know till you try. So... Up your numbers. Another cool challenge is to you know start out with inviting like five people a day and add one person each day throughout the month. Um, so you know five people one day, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on until the end of the month. So you're continually upping your numbers. I wasn't very consistent to be honest with you. In February, sometimes I would add 15 people. Sometimes I would add 35 people. Sometimes I would add seven people. So it's very you know up and down, and I would just stick with like sticking to adding 10 people a day and if you get more cool but you have to add like at least 10 tips for that you know go into groups you know your hobbies that you like Lindsay's had a ton of videos on you know where to find people so if you have questions you can comment below and we can help you um to strategize that but um a really great thing to keep you out of Facebook jail is on your Facebook page it says something like people you may know and there's a list of people and they you all have friends in common whether it's one friend in common five or 25 go and just add three of those people every hour or set an alarm on your phone for every two hours to go add new friends i think you can't add more than five people in like 10 minutes or so they'll kind of like get suspicious of your behavior um so just you know go that that's instant friends and they're more likely to add you and if they don't add you oh well you tried and just continually reach out during cup last year I think Shark Tank was on, and I love that show, and I would just like post on my Facebook watching Shark Tank, you know, this this guy is hilarious, or this invention is so awesome, I would totally buy it, things like that, and people would comment on my post, and we'd get to talking, or I would go to the Shark Tank like page, or I would hashtag Shark Tank on Twitter, and just get in conversations with people, and you can do that with anything, like I'm wearing Under Armour, I can go to the Under Armour like page, Twitter, and just get in conversations, like what do you like about it, you know, what do you recommend? Anything, hiking, biking, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, baking, knitting, sewing, quilting, dogs. Are you a divorced, are you a single mom that's divorced? Are you um, dating and single? Uh, have you ever been married before? Have you adopted kids? Do you have, you know, like Lindsay, do you have twins? Um, you have a unique pet, like a 
salamander or something. I don't know. Like, find things about you that other people can instantly relate to and go search those people out. That's a huge tip. And lastly, um, this is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but lastly, this is the biggest, biggest tip of all. Huge life lesson here. In the best way um, I can put this, I really, really tried to think hard to make this make sense for you guys. But think of Team Cup as like a sprint. Think of this next month as a sprint. And what do you do in a sprint? Off the finish line, you just go. You just give it all you got and you give it full power. Really, really focus 100% on adding to your team. Adding coaches, whether they're active or discount. Offering the discount to every single person, whether it's a discount code or a, not a discount coach, a challenge challenge member or just a friend or family member, just be like, hey, I can, you know, you they're gonna give you a price objection anyway. You might as well answer it with a, a solution of giving them a discount, right? Don't be afraid to just offer it. Like if you know you went out to a movie with you know your girlfriends or you bought this really cool new lotion or shampoo and you just love it, you're gonna share it with your friends. So just share the discount. Like, I see people all the time sharing coupons on Facebook. You know, if you live by me and you want these coupons, take them. Discount coach is a coupon. Okay? So just go after people. Have a mentality that every single no you get is going to make you stronger. It's going to give you tougher skin. It's going to give you more confidence in your business. And you're going to fail forward. You want no's. Remember that. I used to take no's as a stab to the heart, a punch to the gut. I got really insecure with my nose. Biggest mistake. Use them as fuel to your fire and go for more. I have a push, to, uh, not a push, a power of threes accountability group. And part of the daily homework is to tell me how many nose did you get? And it's a competition. The more nose, the better. And I'm going to reward the person with the most nose with a prize. I want you guys to go for no. It's what's going to build your business. Um, so... February is a sprint, 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 sprint. And Jackie can probably um, relate to this as well. After February was over, I think we both kind of got in a funk and we were kind of, I don't know if we were burnt out or we were just like, ah, oh, Team Cup, it's over. Whew, I can breathe, you know, because we went really hard. But you don't want to do that. Big mistake. Keep going. It goes from a sprint to a marathon. Then you want to keep your pace. And you just, that's all what a marathon is, is find your pace and keep it and keep moving, keep running. It's also known as consistency. So if you go from inviting 10 to, or you seven to 10 people a day, and then you go back you know, in March to down to three people a day, that's gonna be easy peasy. You can do that in your sleep. Three people versus 10, that's amazing. So March is gonna be a huge month for you too, and the whole rest of the year, because you're gonna have this burst of business in February from going super hard and stepping outside of your comfort zone and blowing your own goals out of the water to March and you're just going to go back to normal but it's going to seem like a piece of cake because you just put yourself through the ringer and you want to be proud of yourself you really really do um it's a huge accomplishment I remember I posted we each prize you get some people are motivated by prizes and, and you know trips and stuff and you want to post about that on social media because they'll see it so that's an incentive for you is to get these prizes so you can post about them on your social media to attract attention. I remember one of um, my downline, downline's coaches um, signed up and I asked her, I'm like, so what are your goals as a coach? And she's had great success with the 21 Day Fix. She signed up during Team Cup to um, be a coach, I believe. And she um, just wanted to pay for her Shakeology and help people. That's all she wanted to do. I'm like, oh, bless your heart. Glad to have you, you know? She saw my, um, I posted a picture of all the prizes we won last February. We all had a crazy SC. We got like a beach chair, a beach umbrella, a stroller cooler, a blanket, a beach body blanket, and I think like a football or something. And I posted an Instagram picture of all those prizes. And she messaged me and she's like, how did you get all those? You didn't have to pay for those? And I was like, oh, we have a competitor on our hands. And guess what? She's on Lindsay's February Team Cup this year team cup team this year and she's gonna blow it out of the water i just know i have so much confidence in this girl she's gonna do great so you never know who you're inspiring so you want to do good for yourself but for others as well and keep that momentum going after team cup you want to keep that rhythm going consistency is key 
So take this month, focus on your goals, and go out there and get them because I know you can do it. I, I can go from a struggling emerald that can't ever achieve diamond to going star diamond in three weeks. Why not you? Comment below, honestly, why not you? And I guarantee you, your only response is going to be because I don't think I can. And I'm going to tell you, shush. Yes, you can. You can. You can do it. You really, really can. And um, this is going to, I want this to be like the biggest team cup for Team Smash ever. It's going to be so exciting. I have a lot of coaches reaching out to me asking um, tips and stuff on um, how to go about it and on their goals and everything. So if you have any questions, just comment below and we'd love to help you guys out and help you reverse engineer so you know exactly how many invites you need to do so you can work it into your schedule. And this video is way longer than I intended it to be. So I am sorry. I'm going to be quiet now and I'm going to go to bed because it's almost 1.30 in the morning. So have a good day, guys. Talk to you later.